With that, could I request Mr. Murthy to start the proceedings? Well, uh, folks, uh, a very warm welcome to every one of you. We are indeed very, very grateful to you that you have come in such large numbers. Uh, we have an exciting and important announcement to make today. I am extremely pleased to announce that based on the recommendations of the nominations and the governance committee, the board of directors of Infosys has selected Mr. Vishal Sikha to succeed Mr. S.D. Shibulal as the next chief executive officer and the managing director of Infosys Limited. Uh, Vishal will be appointed as the CEO and the MD designate at a meeting of the board to be held on June 14, 2014. He will become the CFO and MD, oh, I'm sorry, CEO and MD on August. Rajiv, your job is not in, in <laughs> doubt, don't worry. <laughs> I mean, that shows how affectionate I am towards Rajiv. I always think of Rajiv. He will take over as the CEO and MD on August 1, 2014. You know, I am the son of a teacher, and in our family, the highest honor is reserved for scholars. If there's only one chair, if there's a billionaire, if there's a the most powerful officer, and if there's a scholar, that chair is first given to the scholar. Therefore, Vishal is something special to me. He's a PhD in computer science from Stanford. Getting a computer science degree from a university like Stanford is perhaps the highest recognition you can get as an, as an intellectual. Therefore, I think I am so honored, I am so pleased that Vishal has agreed to join Infosys as the CEO. He was, as you people know, until recently, a member of the management board of SAP AG. He was leading all products and innovations globally. Vishal is well known globally for heading the creation of HANA, an in-memory database, and has been hailed as a wonderful leader and technology visionary. I don't know how many of you know what Sikha means. I, being a South Indian, did not know, and I asked him, what does your last name mean? He said, it means money, it means coin. And, and then he said, Vishal Sikha means, he didn't say that. I think my good friend Rajiv, the CFO, is always worried about big money. He said, Vishal Sikha means lots of money, big money. So I said, this is what we need for emphasis. <laughs> we are so happy that, that the man who represents big money and with, you know, with a big intellectual competence is coming to us. Therefore, I think it is truly extraordinary. He has, uh, as you people know, extensive experience in managing global, uh, managing a global corporation. His illustrious track record and value system makes him an ideal choice to head emphasis. I welcome our newest Infosian and wish him the best. Miss, thank you. I think we all need a big clap for him. I'm also equally pleased to announce that my wonderful friend and a colleague of over 28 years, Mr. U.B. Praveen Rao, 
has been elevated to the position of director and chief operating officer of the company. I feel myself privileged that I recruited Praveen in 1986, and Praveen has had a dream run in this company. Everything he touched has grown and is a man with extraordinary value system. We also announced today that Mr. S. Gopalakrishnan, Chris Gopalakrishnan, will voluntarily step down as the executive vice chairman, and I also will step down as the executive chairman with effect from June 14th, 2014. Chris will continue as non-executive vice chairman, and I will continue as non-executive chairman until October 10, 2014. Mr. K.V. Kama, a wonderful friend, and in my opinion, one of the finest corporate leaders that this country has ever produced, will become the non-executive chairman of the company, effective October 11, 2014. I am so happy that the board deliberated and decided on his choice. This, we believe, will enable a smooth transition of responsibilities to Vishal and his team. He will have an opportunity to chart his own path and build on the foundation that has been created to take emphasis to the heights. Mr. S.D. Shibulal will relinquish his position as the CEO and MD on 31st July 2014, after which Mr. Vishal Sikha, Dr. Vishal Sikha will take over as the CEO and MD. Until that time, as I said already, he will be the CEO and MD designate. Mr. Srinath Bhatni will step down as a whole time director and leave the company with effect from July 31, 2014. Chris and Shibu have been an integral part of the Infosys journey since its inception. Srinath has been instrumental in building Infosys over the last 22 years. My sincere thanks to every one of these three for their wonderful contributions. As I prepare to step out of the company, I would like to thank our clients, the members of the board, my colleagues at Infosys, ex Infosians, investors, media, you people, and of course, well wishes to the company for their support and encouragement. I also thank our investors for their kindness. I also want to thank the members of my office, the CFO, and the head of HR for their fabulous support in my second innings here at Infosys. My office will be dissolved with effect from June 14, 2014. Dr. Rohan Murthy will therefore be leaving the company on June 14, 2014 and the remaining members of my office will be assuming other responsibilities at Infosys. Let me now hand it over to my wonderful friend, Mr. K.V. Kamath, chairperson of the nominations and the governance committee and the lead independent director to give you details about the selection process. K.V., please. Good afternoon. Thank you, Murthy. Again, uh, let me welcome uh, Vishal uh, to uh, the board and uh, to the company as uh, CEO and Managing Director. And let me welcome uh, Praveen, who is already a member of the board as uh, the CEO of the company. Um, the board compliments you and congratulates you on assuming uh, this office in uh, a couple of days. Now, the board was tasked with the responsibility of um, finding a successor uh, to 
who I believe is uh, probably the founder of the IT industry in India, Mr. Mr. Murthy. And this task was uh, laid down before us at the board meeting in uh, April or thereabout. And uh, this process has now uh, been completed in what I believe is uh, less than uh, two months. And uh, I would say that uh, uh, co completing this process in this period of time for a company of the size of Infosys, starting with no mindsets as to this is what you know we want to zero in on on day one, keeping, keeping an open mind that is, I think is uh, probably the quickest that I can imagine we could do. So uh, I want to stress that this process was uh, a very transparent process, uh, open-minded process, and uh, completed in uh, what I believe is uh, the shortest possible time that any team anywhere could have done. And I have to thank uh, the members of the nomination committee, uh, Seish who's here and uh, Kiran who's here, who have worked, uh, the three of us worked together on this task, and uh, the consultants that uh, we had who advised us on this task. The process uh, was uh, again, uh, an internal slate driven and an external slate driven process. Uh, the internal slate uh, was evaluated uh, using uh, external inputs and indeed our own observations and our own interaction with the, uh, the team uh, at Infosys and uh, simultaneously our ex external consultant uh, gave us a, a list drawn up from a very long list of uh, potential candidates who uh, they thought could uh, uh, lead, uh, lead this company. We held uh, interviews with uh, a short list of candidates uh, who finally were uh, four candidates, I must say, uh, in uh, London and in Mumbai. And uh, thereafter, uh, we narrowed in. We narrowed down with further discussions on uh, Vishal Sika as uh, the leader from the external slate. We then benchmarked uh, you know, the leaders from the external slate to the internal slate and decided that Vishal Sika was uh, most suited to lead uh, Infosys uh, in its uh, journey from here uh, to the future as it were. And at the same time, uh, we said that uh, to, put the, to, to put an appropriate structure in place, we needed uh, somebody very strong and uh, internally conversant with uh, what I would call as uh, the nuts and bolts and nitty gritties of uh, this company. And as uh, Murthy has said, Praveen has been here for a very, very long period of time, has you know, led by example, grown up through the grassroots as, is, as it were, and we could not have found a better leader to assume uh, the CEO responsibility. So that's how uh, we, uh, we, we com completed our task in this period of time, a transparent process, an external slate, an internal slate, an evaluation process, and then uh, completing it in this uh, task, in this period of less than uh, eight, eight, eight weeks or so. So uh, we have come to the transition stage, and uh, as Murthy explained, there will be transitions going on between now and into the next quarter. By the end of uh, the next quarter, that is uh, the second, uh, the, the quarter ending uh, October, I think we would have uh, a full transition place uh, for a going forward uh, basis. Again, I would be remiss if I do not thank uh, Mr. Murthy uh, to agreeing to the board's request uh, last year to come and uh, join the company and lead it in um, what were uh, challenging times. And uh, again, I have to thank him for uh, you know, what he's been able to do with the company in this very short period of time. And I would also thank him for uh, facilitating uh, this process by which we now have a new leader in place. Thank you, Mr. Murthy. I would to also thank uh, Chris and uh, Shibu for uh, all uh, the support that they have uh, extended to Mr. Murthy over the last uh, one year and thank them uh, for uh, their long uh, association and service to uh, this company as founders, and in my words, as true professionals who have led this company to uh, where it is today. <laughs> and at the same time, I think uh, I will end by welcoming uh, this new team, Vishal Sika and uh, Praveen Rao to head, lead this company in its next uh, journey as it were. Thank you. Could I now request Dr. Sikha to come speak with us?
Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Murthy. Thanks, Mr. Kamath. Um, I'm also the son of a teacher. My mom used to teach uh, in Rajkot in Gujarat um, and the son of a railway engineer uh, also in Gujarat. To us Indians, even though now I am a citizen of the US, it is a, a matter of great pride to be here in this company. Um, for me personally, when the board <laughs> when the board, when Mr. Kamath and Mr. Murthy asked me to, to become the next leader of Infosys, I think it is fair to say that it was a matter of tremendous pride um, and honor uh, to accept that, uh, to be the leader of an iconic company, um, a company that uh, has been built by pioneers. Uh, many of whom are here in the room right now, and has put India on the map of, of the digital world. Uh, it's a matter of tremendous, uh, tremendous pride and, and real privilege. So I am very happy, uh, humbled, and privileged to take on this responsibility. Having lived my entire adult life um, in this world of software, I think the unique opportunity that I see is that the world around us is basically becoming reshaped and completely transformed by software, by digital technology, by computing. And the position that we have had over the last three decades at Infosys of being a unique provider of software-driven solutions and services to the greatest companies in the world, in my view, gives us a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to help with this transformation of the world that is going on around us with software. Of all the companies in the industry that I see, I see a tremendous opportunity of an unencumbered path to help shape and help accelerate the transformation of the world around us with software. Every industry, every walk of life, every company in the world is going through this transformation. And I really am excited about um, working with all the Infosians, uh, me being the latest member of them, uh, to bring about this, this transformation. From new kinds of innovation, new kinds of services, new kinds of capabilities that we bring to the clients, to improving and accelerating uh, the ways that we bring our services and our capabilities to our clients, to also improving the way that we work, the way that we learn, the way that we educate. I've had a long friendship with Shibu um, and Chris in my tenure at SAP, and I was always amazed by the importance that Infosys put on education and on learning. And when I first met Mr. Murthy, um, he asked me this puzzle, a mathematical puzzle, um, one that was I had an unfair advantage at because I had built a columnar database. Um, and uh, what was amazing to me was not only that the leader, the very topmost leader of a software company had the insight to ask such a technical question rooted in the, in the very grounding of our industry, of what we do. Um, but he also remembered the having asked that same question to generation after generation of Infosians. And he remembered the amounts of time it used to take them to answer that question. And he commented on the evolution of that time. And I'm not going to share with you what that evolution was. But the fact that this man and this company had such a deep handle, um, understanding, and value on learning, and our, as Mr. Murthy says, learnability, was, was incredibly impressive and, in fact, moving to me, uh, having come from a background of education and learning myself and having worked with the assumption 
that learning is at the heart of the transformation of every company. So with that, to me, there is no doubt that an incredible journey is in front of us. You know, we Indians are fascinated by, by 100, by, by centuries, and cricketers are often scoring centuries. Um, when I was thinking about it, uh, this is, Infosys has just finished 33 years. And I look to the second third of a century ahead of us, I only feel a tremendous sense of excitement and, and privilege to help take this iconic company that, that shaped this industry for India and help shape that industry one more time um, and help take it to, to greater heights together with this incredible team of Infosion and to help share this with the world outside as we collectively, all of us in the ecosystem, take this as a matter of pride for us to help with this great transformation of the world around us with software. Thank you very much. May I now request Shibu to share a few words with us. Good afternoon, everyone. It's actually a great pleasure for me to be here to introduce our new CEO and Managing Director, Dr. Vishal Sika. Let me congratulate Mr. Murthy, KV, Nomination Committee, and the full board for making this choice. As Vishal said, actually we have known each other for a long while. Uh, I have been the sponsor for the SAP relationship for many years. And Vishal has been on the other side as sponsor for the Infosys relationship. So we have had wonderful interactions. In fact, um, multiple times we have worked together to close um, opportunities and deals with our clients. So in that sense, uh, Vishal is not entirely a stranger uh, to Infosys and the way we operate with our clients. In each of those interactions, I have been extremely impressed with the way he can look at technology and how that will apply to a business problem. And that's exactly what we do for our clients. We use technology to create business solutions for our clients, and I think that is something which he is very much, uh, very much used to. So I'm sure that under his uh, leadership, and actually under Praveen's leadership, whom I have known for the last 25 years, we will go to greater heights. I wish them all the best. Let me also um, take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you, Mr. Murthy, Chris, Srinath, KV, and the entire board, our investors, either each and every one of our employees, past and present, for all the support which you have given me through the years, through all the 33, 34 years I have been here. And I wish all of you all the best. Thank you very much. Chris, could I invite you, please? So let me also add my welcome and congratulations to Dr. Vishal Sikha. Infosys uh, started in 1981. That was the year the PC was introduced. And we have had an incredible um, journey in the last uh, 33 years. Uh, but as uh, Vishal said, there's an even more interesting journey ahead of us. Uh, it's still an young industry. It's an industry uh, that um, will see incredible, incredible uh, innovations um, in the future. Infosys had a significant role um, in where we are today and under Vishal Sikha's um, leadership, I'm confident that, and he, you saw his um, um, vision of uh, how software is going to transform the world in the future. Uh, I'm very confident that Infosys um, will reach even um, better heights, in the, higher heights in the future. So I welcome Vishal, I congratulate him. 
Along with that, I also congratulate um, Praveen Rao. Uh, we have an incredible leadership team at Infosys, and uh, together, I am confident that uh, Infosys will reach even higher heights. The best is yet to come, and that's what I see for Infosys in the future. 33 years is a long time. I've uh, known many of you. I've known hundreds and thousands of Infosions, received um, help, support, appreciation, love, affection from many, many Infosions, many ex-Infosions. And from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank every one of them. I want to thank all of you. I want to thank the board for uh, the incredible support that they have given Infosys, our clients, uh, without whom Infosys would not be there, investors, analysts, and everyone, everyone who have um, uh, supported us over the years. In some sense, you know, when I see the emotions all around Infosys, I feel that um, a lot of people have taken Infosys to their own heart. And I want to thank all of you for that. Thank you very much. Could I request Mr. Bhatni to come and say a few words? Good afternoon. Incidentally, today is just three days short of 22 years of journey for me at Infosys. I cherish this journey forever. From the bottom of my heart, I thank the board, Mr. Murthy, and all the founders, my wonderful colleagues here, clients, partners, and vendors for their support and making this journey so nice and wonderful for me. I welcome Vishal and wish him all the best. Vishal, I can very confidently tell you that you have got a great team here at Infosys and all of us have complete full confidence in you. Wish you all the best and good future for Infosys. Thank you. <laughs>